Hey guys, PK Streams here with Vince from hey. Jake. Hey. Hey, okay, so you obviously draw. in the band. Did you always play drums or were you kind of forced onto the drums because no one else wanted to do it? Well, you know what? My brother played guitar. He's four years older than me, so I got forced to play the drums because my brother chose the guitar first. He was older, so you have to go with that, like, sort of decision. I respect that. That's a fair answer. Yeah. Um, Out of all the full-length albums, which one was the most difficult one to record? Uh, well, I'll go with two things. Borders and Boundaries uh, was difficult emotionally because uh, a friend of ours had overdosed uh, right before uh, we started recording. Uh, his name was Carter, and it was very weird, right? Uh, the other one uh, that was hard was doing... Uh, GNV FLA. GNV FLA is a very dark record. So for less dark for less than Jake anyway. So with that, it, it was um, hard to just because you were digging in, kind of going deeper on, on, on the lyrical level. So it, it was it was hard for me anyway. You know. Okay, so. You See the Light in 2013 and then an EP Sunday Alarm in 2017. Uh, why such a big difference like in years in doing EPs and then doing like, a full length? You know what, it's it just we had, for Sound the Alarm, we were writing for a full length. And it just, it did, it, it, we went with the stronger songs. We could, it was seven song EP, man. So, like, we could have done a full length, but like, it, it just we didn't have the we didn't have the songs that we felt made a great full length. So we made, in our opinion, a great EP instead. Um, if you could change the order of your albums releases, would you? No, no. Perfect, perfect for me how it is. Okay. Uh, so you've toured obviously with like Real Big Fish, Flash of Six, Big D and Kids Table, Warped Tour bands, all these new other bands. Is there a band that you haven't toured with that you'd like to? No. We've 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 either played festivals with or we've toured, whatever it is, like I think that like uh, for me, we, we we've done the stuff that we were supposed to do, man. So um Personally, I've seen you in like a uh, food court, I've seen you in a small bar, I've yeah. seen you at Warp Tour. Do you prefer smaller venues like bars or do you prefer festivals? Festivals just because the environment's there, you know, it's like, you know, up and, and it feels good, but at the same time, small bars, man, I mean, like, you can't really beat that, right? At the same time, you know, there's something about people being in your face and it being hot and being, you know, kind of sounds a little bit shitty and it, you're kind of careening uh, into, like, you know, fucking nowhere when you're in something like that. For festivals, though, it's a vibe. Everyone's there and fun and they're having that moment. And so I like both of them. Okay. Is A song you play live that you might not necessarily like to, and it's kind of repetitive, but oh, you can kind of throw that. Nope. Nope. Um, I, I mean, here's the thing, right? It's like, it's not about me. Yeah. It's about people who come, right? So if they want to hear Johnny Quest or my 10,000th time playing it, why, why am I gonna like kind of infuse yeah. my like sort of like thing on it? Not that I don't want to play that song. It's just you know. Uh, I'm just using it as an example. Yes, um, obviously social media has evolved with your band. Absolutely. MySpace, Facebook, Twitter. What media do you prefer to use to connect with your bands? Uh, Instagram. Instagram? Yep. Perfect. Um, anything else you want to touch on? No, that's it, man. Thank, thank you. I mean, uh, Calgary, Edmonton, it's always been a fun time. And this weekend we did both. Uh, it's a blast. Okay, perfect. Great so time. We'll have all of them down there. Give me a little bit of that. Peace. Oh, yeah, on camera. I love it. Okay, Take it easy, bro. Take care, bud.